गुड आफ्टरनून या वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून कितने गेटिव दे दीजिए दिस इज अंजित कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ माय नेम इज रंजीत बेहरा आई वाज बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन हैदराबाद आई हैव डन माय बैचलर्स इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फ्रॉम सीएम आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ कैंपस आई वांट टू डन माय डिप्लोमा इन गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक इन द स्पेसिफिकेशन कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग सो माय हॉबीज आर लाइक प्लेइंग चेस कैरम्स
as a as a reference. The delegate object carries a reference of the class method. So by using that delegate object, uh, we call the function. Okay. So what is a, a partial class? Why we need to use a partial class? So partial class is like implementing a class. Like uh, if you have a, a class uh, into divided into four parts, a, a process is using uh, four processor are process are using a single class. So we have been defining the same class into four four processes. So the class name would be same. So if the class name is same, we need to define the class name as partial class and the class name. So when we define it as using a partial keyword, the four processes can implement the methods, and four methods uh, can be accessed by using the uh, object of a partial class. So the methods uh, which exist in each individual process or each individual sub different classes, so can be accessed in this partial class. Uh, now, what is a sealed class? When we will go for sealed class? So sealed class is like uh, when we go for uh, inheritance. So when I need to uh, inherit the properties of a, a base class into a derived class, if if the base class is uh, used with the keyword sealed, it means that the class is sealed. So the properties of those class cannot be used in a class which is inheriting that class. What is a static class? A static class contains uh, only static methods and static variables. So static class uh, can be uh, called using a static constructor so by class name. Sorry. So it was a nice uh, Thank you. Thank you.